Good morning, everybody. <sighs> oh, it's so cold! Can you guys see how actually crazy the back of my car is right now? The whole back seat, I can't even see through. I can't see out of my windows. Good morning, everybody. I decided, I decided, I decided to do a little vloggy pop today. Whenever I vlog, I swear it just makes me more productive. I don't know why. Like, filming myself just makes me more productive. And I know that sounds really weird, but the amount of things that I genuinely film on my own and never even share with the internet or with you guys just because it makes me feel good. And maybe it's just like something I really enjoy. Whatever. We're on our way to go coach a couple classes this morning. And then I need to get my nails done. Need to do some gym guide stuff. Need to go to the grocery store. We're also going to work out, which I hope it's going to be a good workout. I... I'm literally not even kidding. I did the like Irish jig, whatever it's called on Christmas. I was trying to perform this dance and I think I pulled something in my hip flexor because it's not well and it hurts very bad ever since I've done it. So we're either gonna do back or legs depending on how my hip is feeling. But good morning everybody, happy Monday. We also need to unload this entire car because it is crazy and it's driving me insane. This jacket, been living in it past week I'm not even kidding it's kind of disgusting I've been living in the jacket it's from free people softest thing I've ever worn best thing I've ever worn and I think you guys should all try it for yourself even my mom when I wore it over to her house she was like what size did you get she's gonna try to get it too oh, hi oh, I've taught one class and then I just went to Starbucks because I haven't eaten yet and I'm starving and I got this protein box the eggs and cheddar but we just won't eat the eggs or the cheese I mean so, for the COVID, we have to start wearing our masks again when we coach class. And I'm not complaining about it, but you really have to get used to coaching with the mask on. It's been so long since I've done it, and I was like, I finished demoing, and I was like, <gasps> so lightheaded and dizzy. But, all good. We're going to get used to it. I have one more class to coach. I think I'm going to call right now. I'm going to make an appointment to get my nails done. I waited too long and my nails broke so much and I'm sad because I wanted to get a design once they got a little bit longer, which is hopefully going to be this round, but looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Hi, I was calling to make an appointment to get a dip and manicure at about 1.30 if that's possible for today. I've said it a million times, I know I have, but if you live in an apartment building with an elevator, you need to get a wagon. This one was like $100 off Amazon. But look, could you imagine if I tried to carry all of that by myself? I'd make like four different trips. Oh my gosh, my car was such a mess because of Christmas and everyone's gift and my gifts and I just all unloaded everything into the basket. I'm home! Yay! Uh, I feel like it's been 12 years. One thing about getting your own apartment is like when you don't have it for a few days, you miss it so much. I've never missed an apartment where I have like roommates. Like I miss my roommates and stuff like that, but like now that this is my home and like all my furniture and all my special touches everywhere, I'm like, mm, I miss it so much when I'm not here. Happy to be back. I want to decompress for a bit and chill because I've been going, going, going since we left this morning. I want to make a snack and I'm really hoping I have groceries because I didn't go grocery shopping on the way home because I was just way too hungry to get that done. Also, look how cute this is. My friend got this for me. How adorable is that? I think you're supposed to like put jewelry on it, but I'm gonna put roses in it and put it somewhere. But I love it, it's so cute. We did like a white elephant thing. Oh, here are my nails, forgot to show you. I got like this, I got this like muted blue. I think it's really cute. I wasn't going to um, do gel X, I was gonna do dip, 
and then the lady talked me into it but my nails were so destroyed underneath because I waited so long to get them done again or get them redone like usually if I time it right my nails won't break and I can get them longer and longer and longer but if I wait too long then they'll break underneath the dip and then it's just not not possible and they don't feel thick at all I was worried it was gonna feel thick like acrylics but they're pretty thin I don't know we're excited about them anyways this is a comfort panini that I've been eating since I was little and it's kind of random I don't know if anyone else thinks that this combination is good Chase eats it so maybe it is normal but it's just sourdough toast chicken breast mustard and a little bit of cheese but I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna use this vegan cheese because it's like vegan cheese, you know? And I'm just, what the? F really? Really? Come on, I'll use that for breakfast one day. Okay, so I do toast. This is literally the most basic meal. I don't know why I'm giving you a tutorial on how to make it. Maybe it's because I just got my nails done and it's making me act different. We're gonna take some butter and, okay. Hi, is everything okay? Well, that wasn't the right side, whatever. I took a social media break last week and it felt really good. Um, I was just getting in like a really bad, like I was just getting really anxious. Social media was putting me in a really bad headspace and I caught myself always like turning from my phone every time I was bored and every time I got off my phone, I just started realizing how like unhappy it was making me basically. Um, it'd leave me in a really bad mood and I wasn't reading first thing in the morning. I like first thing in the morning, I'd grab my phone and check social media. Like I got into such a habit of just wanting to look at social media constantly and it was really affecting my mental health. My anxiety got kind of bad just because social media for me, like with what I do, yes, it's, I'm looking at my friends and like seeing what everyone's doing, but also it's my job. And so I'll look at other people's social media pages or other fitness accounts and I'm like, oh, they do it this way or I should do it like this or they say this or they don't say this or they don't drink and they don't do this and like, I don't know. I just get so in my head and it's like, everyone has their own opinions. I've told you guys that for the longest time, but I started to compare myself to like other people that have my job and other people doing what I was doing and I started to forget that I am a personally unique person and that's why people love me and I started comparing myself to other people and felt like I had to start acting certain ways or say certain things and then I just felt disingenuine and I didn't feel like myself online and I don't know and yeah I don't know and I started not getting excited about receiving cool packages where when people want to come up to me on the street I wouldn't get excited or like I don't know just things that made me feel like a really shitty person I just felt like an ungrateful bitch I literally said that in my Instagram caption because it's true I felt so ungrateful and I just didn't know what was wrong with me and I actually went home to visit my mom and I was like talking to her and venting about all of it and she was telling me that I just sound like I'm burnt out because I wouldn't be motivated. I felt like I didn't know how to do anything. I felt like I didn't know how to record videos or like how to talk to you guys. Like I felt so disconnected from Tamra Fitness that I didn't even think that I like created that in the first place. I was like, how? I would look at my stuff and be like, how, how were you like that? How did you do that? And I was just burnt out. And so I gave myself a little break and it really tremendously helped. I hated taking photos the past few weeks. I felt so awkward. I didn't know what to do with my body. I felt like I've never posed for a photo before. And like, hello, my fucking Instagram, that's all I do <laughs> is pose for pictures and videos and all those kind of things. And so when that started happening, when things that I was so used to started feeling foreign to me, I was like, we need to take a step back, take a little break. Take breaks if you need it. If you influence or want to influence or do any of those things, I know it's really hard to take breaks for me personally, I just always felt like I was gonna miss out on something or st stupid as I thought I was gonna be like forgotten or like, I, I don't even know why I think the way I, I think, but none of that's true and a week went by so fast and I'm gonna allow myself to do this more and more. I always let myself take Sundays off of social media, but I think that I need to prioritize it a little bit more often when I need to or 
just be more aware of when those feelings do come up. Okay, this is literally it. Chicken breast, mustard, a sourdough toast, and then I'm gonna have some carrots. I just can't with how early it gets dark now. <laughs> But hi, I've just been hanging out for the past couple of hours. I'm gonna go to the gym. I had this brain bar little snack, but we need to make our pre-workout cocktail. I'm gonna film my workout for you guys. I was like, yeah, I need to film my workout for Instagram. And then I realized I was putting it in my YouTube video. So I was like, why do I need to film it again for Instagram? I'm so tired and I'm barely going to the gym as is, if I'm being completely honest. So I'd rather do a workout that I absolutely love. Like I love, back day it's so enjoyable to me and it's so fun and i feel so strong and i don't know back day is just my all-time favorite day sour blue gummy from beam oh i hate when you get to the bottom and it like scrapes and it does that like super cringy ah, i hate it my whole outfit is tlf this top i have a white sports bra underneath and not put a knife in my face and these sweats and then i'm wearing apls usually i walk to the gym Last time I was there, I noticed a parking garage, and they say that they validate the parking garage right next door. So I kind of want to go to the gym, and then from the gym, go straight to Trader Joe's, go grocery shopping, and then come home for the rest of the night. It's 5.30 right now. Oh my god. I hate when I look across and I make eye contact with my neighbor, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was not stalking you. I'll see you guys at the gym. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Oh, oh, oh. so give me, so give me your all right now that workout felt good I just did back I didn't even do buys but I did do abs I felt really good until I did those in and outs with the plates on my foot and that was not good for my hip flexor that was not a good call but I just ended the workout after that it didn't get too pissed off but I could definitely tell if I kept going it would not end well but next stop is Trader Joe's I'm gonna buy hopefully something that's easy to make tonight because I'm just not in the mood we're back and I think my shoulders are about to pop. Oh my gosh. I got broccoli and cauliflower saute kit. You guys know this kit. And then some romaine hearts. I got an onion, some microgreens, red bell pepper, eggs, avocado, frozen broccoli, blueberries, and tortillas. I got some ground beef. I also got this organic coconut almond cereal. I want to try it out. I like cereal for when I want to run to the gym and not make anything like oatmeal or anything. Um, hemp milk. I got this green and red hatch chili flakes. Excited to try it. It's brand new there. 
the sign said to put it on eggs and I was like, that sounds so good. So I will try that and let all of you know. Grapefruit and grape. I got grapefruit, grapefruit. I got grape, I got grapefruit and limes. Persian cucumbers. I got pears, very random of me, but I just saw them and they sounded so good. I was also thinking like a pear cocktail of some sort. I'm going through a cocktail day. Bananas, garlic herb, chicken sausage, two sweet potatoes. These vegan cookies are so delicious. Another lime, my Go Macro bars. Chicken salad, it doesn't have any dairy in it, so I wanted to try it. Um, I got some lentil pasta and brown rice. And then I want to try their barbecue teriyaki chicken. The one I don't feel like cooking. And tonight, this is what I'm going to try. The braised beef, braised beef roast. It just looks so good. And a demi, oh my gosh. It looks, I, my mouth's watering. When I saw it, my mouth started watering. So that's what we're having. And then I think I'm going to make like a, oh, and my total came out to 111. How cute. Anyways. I'm gonna make that and then a vegan Caesar if this dressing is not good. Which I'm afraid it's not. Vegan Caesar with the Persian cucumbers. Um, should I just do pasta on the side? That sounds good. You know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Thank you.